it really doesn't matter if I get 10 views on that video because Rate Your Setup just flopped. Yeah. Rate Your Setup is No, what are you thinking? No. Be confident, Moz. No. We're still continuing this. I don't know if this person is trolling or if it's serious or what. Welcome to Rate Your Setup, the best show in the world. Now you may be asking yourself, wait, if this is the best show in the world, why is this not on TV? Well, that's because I'm not going to explain you the reason why, okay? I'm not going to explain you why the best show in the world is only on YouTube, okay? Don't, don't ask me any more further questions. This show is all about looking at gaming setups and basically critiquing them. So that's about it for um, this show. So let's look at some gaming setups. Now shout out goes to Insane Gamer before we start. So check them out on Instagram. Uh, link will be in the description. So yeah, let's look at the first setup. So this first setup has a whole lot of things to it. You can see references of the Millennium Falcon, Star Wars, like just, you know, with the Stormtrooper head. Uh, that's all I can see related to Star Wars. Um, you see the Halo reference. Uh, you see a showcase of, you know, different game pads. And you also can see that in the background for the monitors, it is the end game reference um, basically just in the form of you know um, I guess a fan art in you know just with neon lights which is really sick by the ways you can also see that he has an Xbox one and I believe a PS4 so he might do a lot of streaming for um, Twitch or something like that because you see the Elgato um, stream deck so yeah I think it's a pretty good setup it's very congested but it can be improved but other than that yeah let's move on to the next setup so if you look at a lot of gaming setups you know that people take this thing to the next level and when i mean next level i mean really taking it to the next level they add a whole lot of crazy things that makes you ask yourself why in the heck would i ever do this and some of them you know can be understandable at that point or some of them can just be a whole new way of actually gaming and being somewhat productive but this one is not more productive but it feels more of a cinematic experience and it's this I guess little hook thing where you can see the monitors and everything which is like a three screen monitor but with a very comfortable chair almost like a movie experience but just a bit different and can be a little congested in terms of space. These kind of inventions that are still currently being sold go for more than $3,000 a USD. Uh, that is a lot of money and I think that's the cheapest one you can find because I think usual ones can be 10 grand. It might be more, it might be lower, who knows but that's the last time I checked for these kind of setups. I wouldn't want to have this kind of setup, you know, anywhere in my house, cause you know, if someone was to look at it, they would just laugh. And even then I wouldn't spend a lot of time on this because I don't have that much freedom to move around in my chair. It would be really awkward to have it in a basement or just in your room or just anywhere but well it is what it is if this is what you could like i have no problem with it i think it just looks pretty cool so this next setup is more of a red with a wood furnishing uh background uh which i do like it's just weird how there's like air vents and the choice of that gaming chair it has a really weird stitching on the back i don't understand why someone would have this chair i would rather just go with a normal office chair than this um it's a really weird design other than that everything looks sick you know i just like the keyboard the speaker choice and you know the darth vader with the corsair you know headset on top um, i do like the pc a lot it looks pretty cool the ultra wide monitor looks sick as well especially the background i would just get rid of that chair honestly but yeah let's move on to the next one so this next setup you know gives me like you know the 80s vibe i'm trying to remember what this character was from because i remember playing 
some uh, games on the old arcade machine. Basically, there was this uh, pizza restaurant that uh, I used to go to. They would have arcade machines and you know, you could just spend you know, 50 cents or a bit less uh, playing on it. They had these type of games on there. I'm trying to remember what this game is from, but you guys can comment down below. But anyways, on to topic. I think this setup could also be used for like audio mixing and everything, especially the way the desk is made and the stand and everything. Yeah, I think you could just have like a small little mixer and do like audio work, especially with those speakers. The cable management is fantastic. I would highly recommend mocking a setup like this. It looks really nice. So this next setup, I do like it a lot, except I would pick something a bit different with the little design on the wall. I don't know what that reference is for, but if it's reference to a video game or something, then I think that works. Although, you know, a lot of assumptions can be made if you don't know what that is. I'm gonna ignore the fact that there's like the plant and you know, um, the pop figures because that makes this, you know, unique. The cable management on the wall could be done a bit better. The monitor is a bit too small, especially when you have that little shelf on there. Uh, it just makes it a bit just tiny, but I like the whole transition and gradient of the blue and purple. This next setup is my most favorite. I like it how it's an uneven surface and you know, he has a router that basically shows, dude, I have the best internet connection ever now that I have it really close to my PC. I like the monitor a lot. You know, I would definitely recommend having this kind of monitor for gaming. Uh, small monitor is always the best when you're gaming. I love the chair a lot. It kind of puts like this antique design to it. You can kind of like, it looks like, you know, the color is just fading away and you know, it's very, very dirty. I think that's what makes this setup really unique. I also like the Pepsi collection and then you can see like the wires going everywhere. I think the setup looks really nice. I think the setup has to be the best one out of everything. So yeah, that is it for Rate Your Setup. This may seem a little rushed, that's because it is. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed Rate Your Setup, season two, episode two. So see you in the next video. Ah.